What's up YouTube? It's Unruly coming to you with another video. This one's going to be heavy on the spoilers, guys. So if you haven't seen Endgame, don't watch this video because one, you wouldn't understand because I'm going to spoil a lot of stuff, but I'm actually making this video because I want to have a discussion for those of you who have seen Endgame and be like, hey, well, actually, no, you know, time travel because the whole thing about the end of the day, right? Here we go. Spoilers, right? You should have left as soon as I said spoilers, but leave. Please, but then come back. Anyways, time travel. None of us are really experts. It's all theories and stuff like that. So, yeah, but at the end of the day, what's real are paradoxes, right? Paradoxes are um, not a real thing because nobody's ever time traveled, but I guess, yeah, that's what happens. And no, and no one really knows. And, um, and, the game, and the movie talks about paradoxes and, you know, what version of time travel is real is it back to the future is it bill and ted and if i had to go and think about it it's definitely bill and ted but then when they talk to the grand master she's saying well if you take this time stone and it's going to make my reality all crazy because you know it's going to be gone but then like well if we come back and give you this time stone everything is hunky dory right so then so now what is this time travel creates alternate universes is that how time travel even works I don't know. I'm thinking too much, and I should really just relax, relax because it's Mystery Science Theater 3000, right? But then it's a fun movie, and it makes you think. So let's talk about some paradoxes, right? There's the, the, the screaming paradox that we all know, and it's the Loki paradox, right? It's not a huge paradox. We all saw it. We all know. Paradox one. Paradox two is uh, Nebula, older Nebula, shooting younger Nebula killing her pretty much she looks pretty much dead right that's killing your younger self she should have been dead so i guess that makes it well then that's the whole theory of an alternate timeline right but um yeah but there was one more paradox well actually two more paradox there was the steve rogers paradox where he goes back in time and just stays there and and lives a life and i'm going to talk about the biggest paradox of them all is the thanos paradox right and i'm saying like that. these these are the thanos paradox so the whole movie right the whole premise of the movie is thanos snaps dust half all life in the entire universe right then they got they, then they go find thanos they kill him Five years later, it's like, well, what do we do? Time travel. So then, and time travel, and if we get the stones and wish everyone back, that is amazing because that literally closes the loop. There's nothing that Thanos can do if they uh, would have done it successfully. But then what happens is Thanos from the past shows up in our future. And that's where the whole paradox is. That's where the biggest paradox of the film is. And because... Um, when you have Thanos from the past, who hasn't collected a single Power Stone, show up in our current timeline, fight, and then him, him and his entire army get dusted, they never went back. They never collected the stones. They never fought that big battle in Wakanda because they didn't exist. Because that was all before. And you could see where that big paradox is. And I'm pretty much sure, like, saying, like, what, what uh, Tony did is like, hey, I want to dust, I want to kill everyone loyal to Thanos and Thanos, and I want Thanos to be last. And he snaps. So that's probably why Gamora was probably saved, because she's like, yeah, you know what? And she turns around, so she stopped being loyal to Thanos. But that means, you know, Nebula. Well, you know what? He probably wouldn't have dusted Nebula. He was just like, you know what? Save Nebula. So then there goes that. But she she still died anyways. You see, I'm still thinking about this movie while making this video. That's the, how the, this movie gets in your head. But um, so that's a paradox right there. That that Thanos never did any of that. So even if it did another timeline, right? So that creates like a whole another timeline. But then the th here's the thing about where that whole creating another timeline kind of goes out the window and it goes out the window when steve rogers returns everything back he returns all the stones back to where they were before they were were, were taken so it makes everything smooth right it makes all the timelines clear 
But what happens is he stays in the past. Initially, that should create another timeline because he changed, he altered the future or altered the past, right? Just like if he took that stone and never gave it back, that creates an alternate timeline. So by him going back in the past should create an alternate timeline from the ones that we're seeing now. So that Steve Rogers should have lived in universe B and well, then making this Steve Rogers not even show up in our timeline because that's a that's a different timeline and that's what this movie is doing am i thinking too much chat should i really just relax but honestly i think that's a big paradox right there but that's the problem time travel movies aren't easy to do there's no expert on it there's no guy that's like yeah well you know what i've time traveled and uh yeah there's no time travel consultant maybe there's a guy who's pretty good at re you know studying it but it's not Right? So they, they could write, well, our time travel means, and whatever happens just creates another universe or something like that, or it creates another timeline. And, you know, we don't know, but I'm thinking as a plot device, I, I'm thinking that's a pretty glaring paradox because then, I mean, that's like a big theory, but we don't even know. We, we can't, it's, we can't even imagine, but that's, there's theories and things about, of, of paradoxes, right? like the grandfather paradox and the tuna fish sandwich paradox or whatever. But so that means there's no paradoxes in, um, in uh, the Marvel universe. That just means you just fix your timeline. That's all. That means whatever timeline you're in, you fix. And whatever other timeline you mess up, well, fuck it. I, I don't care. This is our timeline, right? Maybe that lead to another giant civil war because they're saying, hey, what the hell? This universe just just messed up with our universe by doing all this stuff we're all super messed up because that's what this this did this universe did and this universe is like they're trying to fix themselves so now maybe that'll be like another movie baby i'm thinking too much right <laughs> universe a versus universe 63 and they fight because this universe messed up the other universe but no but uh going back because i'm thinking too much god dang it and it's kind of late Right? You can see bags into my eyes. We just did a big stream of the old video games and I was like texting some of the the, 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 the dudes and we're like, yo man, I think that was a huge paradox, right? And and I had to talk to other people, like other people on social media, right? I had to be like, look, hey, I got some questions. So th that's this video was making me, uh, this idea really made me want to make this video of the Thanos paradox. He died in the past. He can't collect the stones. Infinity War never happened. That's one timeline. But then Steve Rogers going back in time, staying in uh, said time, should have created a timeline from that time he stayed back and created a splintered time. I don't know. But anyways, guys, let me know if you think you have the answer to this paradox or maybe I was wrong. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. I've got content. I'm going to be pushing this YouTube channel for awesome different content that is different from my stream and as well as stream archives and lots of fun stuff. And if you guys haven't heard, I have a deal with OP Seat. So if you're in the market for a gaming chair, holla at your boy because there'll be a uh, link in the description below where you can get yourself a nice discount get yourself one of these cool uh, seats I got the purple it looks great and uh, with that said yeah peace guys remember five times